Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll continue with part 15 of the body side of Lexus LF30 concept car. Okay, so in the previous lesson, I spent some time refining this corner over here. I think it's actually a pretty big success uh, considering how difficult it is. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and finish this up. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's go ahead and untrim all of these surfaces like this. And let's go ahead and patch this in. So first of all, I'm just going to delete the CWS over here. And for this one, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a blend curve like this. And let's patch it in with a square. So it's just going to be, uh, let's actually reset all of these. Let's say one, two, three, and four. One is going to be curvature. Three is going to be curvature. And I'm just going to rebuild it because it's got a lot of spans. So let's actually do a little explicit control over here, five and five. And I'm going to see if this works. Now it looks like it's actually failing. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I'll have to do a little bit of inspection, but let's uh, make sure that this is curvature too. Okay, so this is curvature and looks like it's failing curvature on either side. So let's find out why. So I'm just going to delete the curve over here and I'm just going to Okay, so it looks like it's 1.0 over here. It looks like there's a little bit of curvature deviation here, which is not bad. Um, so let's find out if I can align this one. Okay, so I got curvature there. I'm just going to make sure that it's edge. I'm going to do the same thing over here, make sure that it's edge. Actually, interestingly, oh, there we go. Okay, so with the posture influence set to max, that takes care of it. Now, I do need to make sure that it's actually curvature over here as well. So, I mean, it should be, but let's, uh, let's check. So first of all, I'm just going to just project it like this. Let's just check it. Okay. So it looks like it's 1.0. Uh, I see multiple 1.0s over here. So that's probably just due to the flatness of the surface. However, it is quite possible. Uh, it probably is. I'm going to just try and projecting a line. Uh, so let's give that a go. So let me just delete the CWS over here. I'm just going to project a line like this and let's see if that works. Uh, looks like it doesn't. Um, okay, so if that's the case, let me just do a revert. I'm just going to project it again like this. Uh, let's do Z. I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. And I'm going to try edge instead. Push your influence. Okay. So you know what? In this case, I think I'm just going to leave it. Um, it's definitely curvature here. Uh, this is probably just to, due to the flatness of the surface that the curvature deviation is uh, going absolutely haywire. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this one over here. I'm going to say extend like this. And yeah, that's unfortunately, those are multiple points. So I highly doubt that that's actually a problem. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And I think that's looking pretty good. And as you can see, the highlights are flowing nicely. So no complaints there. All right, so, well, essentially the body side is done. So I'm just going to, well, this one, I think I'm, let's, uh, let's see what the canvas says. Okay, so you know what, maybe I'll just patch this in and just call it, uh, call it done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a surface fillet over here. Uh, let's make it a cord, it's going to be G2. And let's just make sure that the direction is good. I'm going to say maybe 200. For the form factor, I'm going to set it to one. Oh, uh, actually that's horrible. Okay, so let's just go ahead and extend this piece over here. I'm gonna say merge on extrapolate is going to be on. Just gonna make sure that it actually, oh, no wonder. Okay, so that's, that's the reason why. So if that's the case, I'm just going to align this one positional to this surface over here like that and maybe do a little bit of blending. Now, to be honest, um, this body side is absolutely relevant to, uh, well, this top fender over here um, is actually quite irrelevant to this one, but well, I'm just, 
I'm just going to patch it in because I already built something. Now that's sort of how we're actually. Let me see if uh, what it looks like. So, oh, I did have a reference up. So let me just pull that back in. Okay, so it actually it's supposed to blend in like this, which probably means I can probably just um, do a fillet like that over here. I could probably just make a nice soft fillet and I'll probably just wash it out. But I'm not going to be doing that, uh, so I'll just trim it, uh, trim it off and just call it done. So for this one, let's make it a little bit bigger though, uh, since I already I'm doing some of it. So let's maybe do 400. Oh, okay, so it looks like that doesn't work. So I'm just going to go to top view over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab an insert over here like this. I'm just going to do something like that over here. Something like that over here. Just going to trim. Delete the construction history and just do a freeform blend between the two. It's going to be edge line. Same thing over here. And well, yeah, call it done. Okay, delete the construction history and I'm just going to untrim this piece over here like this. Extend it through. Oh, maybe that's not the best idea. Um, actually, if that's the case, let me see if I can just do a rail over here. So it's going to be one on one. Like this, I'm going to do a curve segment over here on this side. It's not going to be curvature, so let me just turn that off. I'm going to reduce it up to this point. I'm going to make sure that this is snapped to there. Okay, I'm just going to have Gen 1 be curvature. And it looks like this is degree 6, so let me see if I can just reduce it a little bit. And I'm just going to do a rotation over here like this, so that the uh, flow is nice. And that's all I need to do. And I'm just going to go ahead and extend this one and intersect it and call it done. So trim here and trim here. Now eventually you'll probably need a fillet. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna spend time uh, doing this one because it's, uh, I think it's not as critical. So I'll just call it done. And I'm just gonna trim this over here and uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okay, so just to finish it, I'm just going to, well, actually, you know what? Let's do an insert. Snap it over here. And that's it. All right, so make sure that uh, it's the same color. So now in order to do this side over here, uh, or this side, uh, I'll have to do all of these, so I'm not going to do that, but I think this uh, body side is looking pretty good. So actually, let me just do some cleanup. Looks like there's a couple of sequences that probably needs to be deleted. I'm going to get rid of some of the curves, and everything is looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the construction history, and let's just turn the spans off, ISO arms like this and that's looking pretty good so um this way this was actually a quite a difficult body side just because of the complexity and all the fillets going in and out but i think i was able to achieve a decent highlight that actually matches the body quite well uh, that actually matches the actual car the photo and if you look at the highlight flow over here uh, there's a little bit of wiggle over here but mostly it's uh, flowing really nicely uh, as intended, so pretty happy with that. Now, I do think that this fillet over here probably sh uh, maybe should have been a little bit smaller, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the result, and I think it turned out actually quite well. So, yeah, so hopefully, this uh, helped you guys with uh, the body side of well, not just this car, but uh, how to set up uh, this complex transitional surfaces like this and hopefully it increase your understanding of uh, alias overall. All right, so that is a part 15 and the last section of this uh, Lexus LF30 body side. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn more? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you will find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. 
Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.